Hello? Welcome to this training on how Unity can be used for e-learning. SCORM 1.2 and 2004 are fully supported for LMS integration. Unity will automatically publish your project as a SCORM package zip file so you can easily upload to an LMS such as Docebo. More to come on SCORM, but you can think of Unity as your content authoring tool in our examples today. Click next to continue. SCORM is a technical specification for e-learning software products. It standardizes the way in which e-learning courses are created and how they're launched. Learning management systems and authoring tools are built with this specification in mind, and as a result these tools play well with each other. Click Next to continue. When creating an e-learning course with an authoring tool that is SCORM compliant, the output is a zip folder. This zip folder is uploaded to your LMS, and the LMS handles everything from there so long as it's SCORM compliant as well. When you publish the course, an enrolled learner can launch it in a browser. The LMS collects data to track and report results of their performance. The SCORM course tells the LMS which data to receive. Click Next to continue. Most standard e-learning authoring tools such as Articulate and Captivate support SCORM tracking. So, why choose Unity? Click Next to continue. Unity is well known as a game engine, but it is also the leading platform used for interactive real-time content and experiences for a variety of industries. Unity enables cutting-edge innovation in learning. The next generation of educational technology should let learners dive into interactive worlds and explore complex scenarios and concepts in completely new ways. Click Next to continue. OK, before we get into all the cool stuff that sets Unity apart from other e-learning tools, Let's see how Unity handles some of your typical e-learning interactions such as drag and drop, accordions, and images with hotspots. We will start with a simple accordion interaction. Click the next button to see an example. Click on the accordion sections to see their contents appear. This accordion is completely customizable. It uses Unity's built-in UI system so you can easily add images, text or sound effects when you click on the sections. When you are done, click next to continue. OK, here is an example of another typical e-learning interaction, the labeled image or sometimes called an image with hotspots. Click on the info icons to view the labels. When you are finished, click the next button to continue. Another commonly used e-learning interaction is tabs. Click on the tabs to see their contents appear. This tab interaction is completely customizable. It uses Unity's built-in UI system so you can easily customize the look of the tabs as well as add more tabs. Each tab section can have images, text, audio or anything else Unity's UI system can handle. When you are finished, click Next. Let's now take a look at a typical drag and drop interaction. Drag the colored icons into their appropriate slots in the drop area on the right side of the screen. Keep in mind, however, that Unity has many different types of drag and drop interactions available on the Unity Asset Store. The same goes for the other interactions we have looked at so far. The Unity Asset Store is one of Unity's big Here we have a variation on the typical drag and drop interaction. We now begin to make use of Unity's 3D capabilities and add a slight 3D perspective to the UI panels. We also introduce particles in the background using Unity's built-in particle system. This is one of Unity's free example scenes that demonstrates the We are now in a fully 3D scene with 3D objects that you can interact with. Let's start with the sci-fi crate on the far left. This 3D object is quite unique in that you can drag and drop it anywhere in the scene. Try dragging the sci-fi crate into the trash and see what happens. You can reset it by clicking the reset button. Now, if you use the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can scale the size of the object to make it bigger or smaller. Also, without clicking on the object, if you click and drag left or right in an empty area of the scene, the object will rotate along its x-axis. If you click and drag up and down, it will rotate along the y-axis. Again, you can reset the transform of the object by clicking the reset button. Go ahead and try this now. When you are done, click the next button to continue. Now, moving on, we have a crate with a Kineso brand mark. Notice that if you roll your mouse over the object, there is a tooltip that says click me. These tooltips can easily be added to any 3D object in the scene. When you click on this Kineso crate, a UI panel appears with some info displayed. This is a standard Unity UI panel, so it can be customized any way you want. Notice also that a new 3D model appears after you click on the Kineso crate. 
This is just an example to show that you can also activate other game objects when you click. In this case, our Kinesobot appears. If you roll your mouse over him, you will see that he also has a tooltip attached and he has an outline highlight color assigned. When you are done, click next. This gold colored sci-fi crate has a very different interaction assigned to it. When you click on it, a 3D animation plays and the crate opens up with a sound effect. Click again and the crate closes with a diff- The last 3D object in this example is a Matakine crate. When you roll your mouse over this object a tooltip appears, but this Unity has many different options when it comes to video. It can handle everything from regular video to 360 degree VR video and beyond. This is a simple example of a custom video player, but we could also easily add all the other typical buttons and a slider to scrub the video. Here we have an example of video displayed in a 3D perspective inside a 3D scene. This is another example of how Unity sets itself apart from other e-learning tools. Hello, I'm Jason, your virtual training host. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996, also known as HIPAA, is a United States federal statute enacted by the 104th United States Congress and signed into law by President Bill Clinton on August 21, 1996. Kineso recently adopted a new HIPAA policy so we can service clients in healthcare-related fields. These materials draw from Axiom's long experience in handling HIPAA-protected information for clients. As such, these training materials, including the video you are about to watch, may reference Axiom instead of Kineso. But these materials are equally applicable to Kineso. You can play or pause the video by clicking on the buttons you see on screen. When you are done, click next to continue. Axiom is subject to many state and federal laws and regulations. Sometimes we are subject to HIPAA based on the data. In this example scenario, we have a Kineso new hire named Steve. Since Steve was recently hired, he has a lot of company info to absorb. To help him out, we have asked several of his new co-workers to explain a little bit about the company to give him a better sense of Kineso's mission and values. Click on the buttons below to hear what each of Steve's new co-workers have to say about Kineso. We believe marketing can do more and should do more than get someone to click on an ad. It should build trust and mutually beneficial relationships between people and brands. We're enabling brands and agencies to market with relevance through an open suite of applications built on market-leading identity and award-winning, patented technology. At Kineso, we enjoy solving complex problems. Our algorithm is integrated and iterative, enabling us to maximize performance and deliver the best possible solutions. We use AI to make sure data is organized, standardized, accurate, and actionable, from planning to activation. When you are done, click next to continue. In this Unity example scene, we have a fully immersive 3D world with an avatar that we can control. In the game world, we call this third person perspective character. Moving your mouse will move the camera so you can change the view perspective. This is commonly used in third person perspective games and is usually done by moving a joystick on a gamepad. Go ahead and try it now. Move your mouse and watch the camera change the view perspective. You can move the avatar by pressing either the arrow keys on your computer keyboard or by pressing the letters W, A, S, D. If you hold down the shift key at the same time the character will run. Pressing the spacebar will make the avatar jump. As you move the avatar around in the scene imagine that there could be objects to interact with, pop-up text boxes, other characters to converse with and pretty much any. Now, taking this to the next level we have replaced our template avatar with a free character from the Unity Asset Store and we replace the template scene elements with a free sci-fi scene also from the Unity Asset Store, or any scene. We believe marketing can do more, and should do more, than get someone to click on an ad. It should build trust and mutually beneficial relationships between people and brands. Elements. All of the scene elements including the characters. We're enabling brands and agencies to market with relevance through an open suite of applications built on market-leading identity and award-winning, patented technology. Completely customizable. Notice that your new character's animations are exactly the same as the previous template avatar. This is the power of Unity's animation system. It allows you to easily reuse animations on different characters. These characters are- At Kineso, we enjoy solving complex problems. Our algorithm is integrated and iterative, enabling us to maximize performance and deliver the best possible solutions. Also fully equipped for lip sync and facial animation, using the arrow keys, or W, A, S. We use AI to make sure data is organized, standardized, accurate, and actionable, 
from planning to activation. D. Just as you did in the last scene, move your new character over to the other characters in the scene to see this in action. Each character has a message for you about Kineso. After you have explored the environment, Unity Analytics is a simple but powerful data platform that provides analytics for your Unity project. Find out who the learners are in your e-learning course and their in-course behavior. Unity Analytics provides the data you need to manage your relationship with your